question 9 we're given a solid prism as usual it's not drawn accurately and we're asked to work out the volume of this prism and if you look at the front of your paper the formula for the volume of a prism is given um, and it's the area of the cross section multiplied by its length in other words if you work out the area of the front face which I'm going to try and sketch the area of the front face here and then work out and then multiply that answer by how far back it goes that will give you the volume so we don't even have to remember anything here it's not so far I'm just trying to make a little sketch of our front face Lovely. So we can see that this height here is seven centimeters, the top is five centimeters, the bottom is 11, and this height here is four centimeters. Now, before I proceed, I'd like to know what these two sides are. Um, if this is 11 and the top is five, this part must be six, because five plus six is 11. If that's seven and that's four, well then surely this little part here must be 3 because 4 plus 3 is 7. So now I have the cross section sketched. You don't have to do that but it does help. Now I'm going to work out the area of this cross section. Because I don't know how to work out the area of an L shape off the top of my head, I'm going to split it into two rectangles like so. So if I want the area of this rectangle here, um, I'm going to multiply 6, which is its length, by 4, which is its height. 6 times 4, 24. And if I want this rectangle here, the area is going to be 5 times 7, which is 35. So the area of the cross section of cross section will equal 35 plus 24 which is 59 and that's in centimeters squared because it's area now the volume the volume will equal the area of the cross section 59 multiplied by how far back it goes, which is 20. Uh, let's see, 2 times 59 is 118. So 118, and we've got, I'm going to multiply that by 10 as well. So 1180, and that's centimeters cubed. You could use a calculator for that if you like.